Hello, Blake Rudis here with F64 Academy, and today I want to show you how you can recover detail in blown out areas of your image. So just a little disclaimer here, nothing substitutes getting it right in camera. You got to get it right in camera. But if by chance you're doing some editing and your highlights get blown out, there is a way to recover those details specifically in clouds. And I'm going to show you that today. And there is a downloadable action. So please take me up on the offer to download this action. It is free for you to use. There's a lot of steps and I don't expect you to remember all of them. So here's an example. Look at it now. It's got detail in those blown out areas. Here's what it looked like before. And I'm telling you, there was no data in those clouds for any detail, but we added some detail and I'm going to show you how to do it in this tutorial. So every once in a while when you're shooting, you have these problems with highlight blowouts. And I know what you're going to say, okay, Blake, if you're really a good photographer, you probably should have not had highlight blowouts and you should have been checking your histogram and da, da, da. I get it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to receive it in the comments, but sometimes it happens. Okay. You're out there, you're shooting uh, and the dynamic range is so big that you may not have a tripod and you can't really do an HDR for it. And you get a little bit of highlight blowouts because you don't want to sacrifice those shadows for noise. Okay, it happens. All right, so let's just face it. We're now in post-processing. We've got the image in our computer and we're looking at it. We've edited it. And in our edits, because we're taking things to certain extremes, we lose some detail in the clouds, just like this photograph. And there are also several other photographs that I can show you an example of this on as we go through. So what I've done is I've created a way that you can actually fill in the details of those highlights and recover some detail in those areas in a non-conventional way. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that our swatches here are set to the default color. So let's just say this is red and white. Uh, what I'm going to do is press D for default. We need those to be default colors because it's going to be really important here in a second. The next thing I need to do is make a new layer and I'm going to fill that by pressing shift F5 and I'm going to fill that with 50% gray. I need something in this layer in order to do what I'm going to do. So now I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to go to render and I'm going to go to clouds. Okay. And there was a time when I was like, why on earth is this called a cloud? I didn't render a cloud, but we can use the data that's right here to add some detail back into our blown out highlights. So what I'm going to do is the magic blend. If I'm going to double click right here to change my uh, layer styles and blending options of this layer. So what I'm doing here is basically saying, okay, clouds, I don't want you to affect anything underneath this layer that is black or middle gray. So as I move this over, you're going to see that all the blacks and middle grays of my image start to get protected. So once I get to right about here, I'm going to press alt or option and click on this. And that's going to split this and allow me to feather it and make a nice smooth transition into my highlights. Now I'm getting these kinds of ridges around my highlights that I don't really like there. So I'm going to move this down until they just nicely blend in and it's going to be pretty far. So about the, maybe the 128 mark or a little bit higher, maybe the 145 mark and press OK. So now we've got some detail on those clouds, but it's really stark. So what we need to do is just drop the opacity, just come right here into this opacity and change this to, let's say 20% or maybe even 30%. So now if we look at our highlights, look at that stuff, we can actually see what's going on. Now, one thing that I really do want to do here is actually also go into those uh, blending options there. And in the blending options, I'm going to do a color overlay and I'm going to make that color overlay like a orange or a magenta or something that I can see exactly what's being affected now. So now with that overlay, I can see where my image is being affected so I can add a mask and just paint on that mask in black to get rid of the areas that I don't want that to affect. Okay. So once I've got that down, I can then turn off the eyeball on these effects. And now I've got my clouds uh, nicely detailed in those blown out areas. Again, it's a little too much right now. So I'm going to change this back to 20% and then modify accordingly. So because this is on its own layer, we now have all kinds of things that we can do to this to make it blend in even better. So for this example, I could probably go up to filter. I can go to blur and Gaussian blur, and I could blur that so that those cloud details now match the blend, the blur of what's going on in the background. 
I could also do something really cool by going down here and adding a curves adjustment layer. Press Alt or Option to clip that in so that now this curve only affects this layer. And now I can modify the contrast in those clouds to get them to be exactly what I want them to be. Because maybe I do want a little bit of blowout still in them. So I'll just bring up the highlights in those blowouts and then make certain areas of that a little bit darker. So now an area that completely had no information in it whatsoever now has cloud detailed information in it. And we can even drop that opacity even more to something like 15% after doing that. And now we have detail in our blown out clouds. That is wicked cool. Now, so I know you're probably not gonna remember all this stuff. I, I get it. There's a lot of junk to remember here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you here that this action is downloadable. If you head over to F64 Academy, if you're on YouTube, if you're on F64 Academy, you're in the right place. You can download that, but there's a link here in the YouTube channel just for that in the description and also right here in the video. So all I need to do is click on this blowout texture with detail and press play. It's going to do all the stuff that I just told you to do. It's also going to give you some reminders on how this thing works. And then you have the capability of editing just like you saw me edit. I can click on this mask and just paint away those areas that I didn't want affected, turn off that eyeball. And then now I've got that cloud detail and texture there, and I can modify that accordingly with my curve automatically already done for you. All you got to do is press play and you can be recovering those highlight details as you uh, see fit for your images. Also in there, there is the one with detail and there's the one with blur. The one with blur you might want to use because maybe the clouds are blurry because of the aperture that you had set. Maybe you had an aperture of uh, f2.8 in the landscape that you were taking a picture of. So all of the clouds in the background are actually kind of blurry rather than having any detail in them. Hit the one with blur. It's going to give you a Gaussian blur effect there so that uh, when you turn the effect off here, you can see that this these clouds are blurred a little bit. If you want to see how this works on another image, I'll go ahead and open up uh, this guy. This guy right here, we'll go ahead and press play on that uh, blowout texture. Let's do it with a with let's do it with detail and I'll show you something here and press OK. And I'll paint out those areas that I don't want it in. Paint all that stuff out. Sweet. And now let's take a look at what we've got. We've got some texture in those clouds, but it's a little too much. So what we need to do drop the opacity a little bit. And for this example, because we actually have a radiating blur from the long exposure, we can do the same thing here. We can go to filter, we can go to blur, and we can go to radio blur, change that radio blur to zoom, zoom that up a little bit. And this just gives you an idea of what you can do with this layer so that you can get some of that detail back in there. Uh, so you don't have a complete blowouts in those areas behind you there. Again, you can do anything you want with these layers. They're there for you. Another example, open this guy up, I've got some blowouts in these clouds back here that I don't like. I don't mind these ones so much because there is some detail there, but these ones need a little help. So I'll just press play. And now I can paint away the areas that I don't want it to affect very quickly. And then look at my image after I take the effect eyeball off. So you can see there's some detail there now in those clouds. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paint away this area up here because I do want those to be slightly blown out, but not this area back here. And now I've got detail in those areas. Uh, so really what happens is, is that those areas of blowout will pull the viewer's attention to them because there's no information there. They see white. So they're like, Ooh, I'm going right towards that. So it's our job to fill those areas in or while we're shooting, make sure that our histogram doesn't push so far to that area that we lose that detail. But here we can also recover it too. So the first thing we did, we went into our palette, made sure that we had our default color selected, because if you don't have those default colors selected, what's going to happen is if you have red down there, the clouds that you create and you render will actually be red clouds. So we need black clouds. Okay. So we changed our swatches over to black. So we can have those black clouds in the background. After we rendered those clouds, we blend if blended them in from about the 128 to 145 mark all the way into white. So there's a nice smooth transition for those areas. Then we painted in with black on the mask so that the areas of highlight that we're trying to fill the detail in are only in the specific places that we want that detail. I showed you a couple examples of that here towards the end. Also, then we put that that contrast modification layer on top of there so that we can make the the intensity of those clouds a little bit stronger by uh, making an s curve or inviting a little bit of blowout but not too much blowout so again my name is blake rudis nothing substitutes getting it right in camera 
but when you're in post processing, you can recover those blown out highlight areas. And this is a way to do it. Please feel free to download this action off of f64academy.com. There is a link here on YouTube. If you're on F64 Academy, great. I'm very thankful for having you here. If you're not a part of F64 Academy, please sign up to the email list because when I come out with new tutorials or updates on things, you'll get immediate access to that every Friday when I send out my weekly subscribers newsletter for F64 Academy. I just want to thank you very much for watching this. I really do appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber yet, subscribe and like it and share it and tell a friend. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.